<laughs> what brings you here? Um, so, uh, someone uh, like directed me, like said, he, he said, ah, oh, there's this school called Waterfall, and then I checked it online, and then I'm like, oh, there are different peoples from different well from different angles of the world. Then I was like, oh, let me try. Then I applied. Then I went to an interview. Then I ended up being here. And I think like learning with uh, different people, different cultures. I learn a lot from them, sharing ideas, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, um, the people I'm living with here, they are very lovely, yeah. I'm feeling like I'm at home, mm -hmm. yeah. They are very welcoming, mm -hmm. yeah. And what's been your challenges? Mm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so I haven't encountered a lot of mm -hmm. challenges, but one factor has to be like, um, how Waterford is such a free community in a sense because where I come from I'm not used to that for example um, LGBTQ plus um, community like we embrace that at Waterford and honestly I was never used to that and um, when I came here I was like wow oh, okay and I actually learned a lot about it and in a sense that made me like open-minded and um, which I appreciate a lot um, because now I think of like broadly of these um, things that happen around us that we don't really like really notice so I'm really grateful for that and what's been the challenge for you? My challenge at first was language mm -hmm. like um, because at my previous school I used to speak Shona so when I came here it was my first attempt to stay with yeah, with the right people, you know, their accent. Yeah, so it was a challenge to me, but now, yeah, I think I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where, where are you hoping this journey is going to take you? Okay, so um, I'm hoping to study um, actual science, or because journeys change, I'm hoping to <laughs> study actual science or something in the business field. Um, but also, I'd also like to um, have a significant impact on like different communities, starting with my community. And also, especially, I want to come back to Waterford and hopefully become a donor. That's one thing I want to do. <laughs> That's one thing I aim to do, so hopefully it all works out. And because I've been so moved by um, how we have community service, and it's made me like think more of helping the community and in terms of that like I really want to do that. That scholarship, what would you say to that young girl who has aspirations for Waterford or any of the other universities that you see? I would say, girl, <laughs> please work hard. <laughs> Don't stop trying, continue trying and never give up because that's one thing that will um, push you in life, never give up, always work hard, always um, work hard to achieve the goals that you want in life. So work hard and also don't let negative things like take control of your life. Keep on going. I know like um, the people who might say, like for example, if you see an opportunity to apply and then the people will say like, see, this will not happen. Why are you doing this? Try this. But like, Keep on your dreams. Mm -hmm. Don't let those things pull you back. Mm -hmm. Just keep on going. Um, what would you like potential donors to know? Potential. Um, I would like them to know that they are a blessing to me. I wouldn't know where I would be without them. And um, they have a great impact in my life. Because without them, maybe I'll be somewhere else. I don't know what I would do, but like. Because of them, I'm here and I achieve my dreams, and I'm also able to help other people. Yeah, achieve their dreams. To achieve their dreams as well. <laughs> yeah. And what's your dream? Oh, I'm hoping to be in an interview. I want to start my own business. By doing so, I think uh, this will create employment to people in the community because my aim is to um, develop my community and also to be a person of value in the community i want to be an inspiration because where i come from you know like that especially the the girl child they think um 
you only like form four that's the end of education and that's what you can achieve and then form four you get married and then it's like that mm -hmm. so i think like if they see me they'll be like oh we want to be like this girl she went to this school and then the same school like is in the she went to a rural school and then now she's like this so i want to be like her and also i want to help other children who can't afford to go to school so i think being an entrepreneur i will achieve that mm. yeah. you two should get together later <laughs> on <Yeah>, of course <laughs>